Hello, I am K.S. Rao, of course, you know me well. It's just a custom that I should mention my name. That's why I do it, I know, otherwise you all know me well. Okay. Now, today the puzzle you see behind me is another very interesting puzzle. Now, as I customarily tell you, please copy this puzzle on a nice piece of paper, neatly drawn with a ruler or something, and try on your own. Well, then you will either solve it on your own or you will understand the beauty of the puzzle after which you can see this uh, this video and I am sure you will enjoy. So, let us proceed there now. Uh, before, before proceeding there, I would like to mention at the end of this video, I will show the paper on which I have solved this puzzle. So, that will help you how you should organize your own solving process. Okay, let's go there now. So here we are. Now the peculiarity of this puzzle is that number 9 is not at all given anywhere. Okay, so it is our job to find it. Okay, let us do it. We will do it. Okay, we will start with that only. Okay, have a look. Look at this A1, this cell. This one being here you cannot repeat, 2 there you cannot repeat, 3 there you cannot repeat, 4 there you cannot repeat, 5 here you cannot repeat, 6, 7, 8 there. So number 9 is the only number which can take this position A1. But I am not writing that number 9 now. Okay. Now, let us uh, look at this top horizontal strip here. An interesting aspect, the, the first trick, so to say, is our castle, a nice castle. Look at this 1, 4 and 6, this box. These 1, 4 and 6 cannot get repeated in these two places. Look at this cell. You have 1 here, 6 here and 4 there. So 1, 4 and 6 cannot get repeated here. Therefore, looking at this row A, the exclusive place or the three cells for these three numbers 1, 4 and 6 are these 1, 2, 3 so for 1, 4 and 6 these three cells but you see 1 and 4 the same column here so applying our 2 by 3 trick you we can write definitely number 6 here ok let us write that the first lucky number for this puzzle number 6 ok and these two places are naturally for 1 and 4. Let's write 1 and 4 there. That is 1 and 4. Okay. Now, that 6, look below. We can write the next 6 here. That 6, this 6 and this 6, we can write our 6 here. Next 6, that is it. And look here. We have the 6 here, we have the 6 there, you have another 6 here. So in this box, the natural place for number 6 is this. I'm sure you agree with me. Okay. Now, does anything else happen? Have a look. Uh, that 6, this 6, only one 6 is there here. These two places are for 6, these two places are for 6. Okay. Now in row A, we have got three vacancies now, that is for 7, 8 and 9, these three places are for 7, 8 and 9, but you see 7 and 8 here, in the same column, therefore these two numbers take this place and this place and leave A1 for number 9, about which we already discussed and we already found out how this number 9 alone can take this cell okay now let us write that 9 okay let me tell you there is yet another method of getting this 9 here but it's a wasting our time i am writing that 9 now okay now we are happy we can happily write this to uh, the allot these two cells for these two numbers 7 and 8 let us do it let us do that 7 and 8 there 7 8 7, 8, okay. And now, <laughs> look at this column, look at this column. 
you have this three here you cannot repeat three here you have this three here you cannot repeat three here that cell is that cell is allotted for number one and four therefore we get a three here that's three okay and now that three there and this three here what happens in this box this is this exclusive place for number three have a good look that's for number three and anything else happens let us see now we have five numbers in this row can we do something we have one two three four we require five seven eight nine okay seven eight nine are here our blue line trick we can get our five here have a look this is for five that's nice okay now what about these three cells we still need uh, seven eight and nine seven eight and nine okay okay no problem now okay let it be there okay can we allot these three cells also here we require two seven and eight we have a two there therefore let us write our two here and the matching pair for that seven and eight is here okay now what shall we do with these two cells in this row c we require seven eight and nine seven eight and nine we don't have proper cross checks okay let us uh, Allot them, okay. Having done so much of work, we have investigated. So, 7, 8, and 9 here. 7, 8, 9. 7, 8, 9. Okay. Can we still do something about these places, these two cells? Let us have a look. We have 1 there, 2 there, 3 there, 4 there. Five. This five enables us to confirm number five here. Have a look. It's a five here, and this place is clearly for the third set of seven, eight, and nine because there are no there are no cross checks. So let us write that trio there. Seven, eight, and nine. Okay. Now this row B. We have. Five numbers already. So, can we do something? We require one, seven, eight, and nine for these four cells. One here. So, we can write seven, eight, and nine here. Okay. Let us look at this. We have seven here. So 1, 8 and 9. Okay, let us leave it now for the time being. Instead of cluttering it at that place. So we'll come back again. Have a look here. We have uh, 1 is missing. 2 occurs once. 3 occurs just once. 4 also same. 5. 5. We have 1, 5 here, 1, 5 there. These two places are for 5. Okay, leave it now. 6 occurs once, 7 occurs once, 8 occurs once, and 9 is missing. Okay. Now, let us come here. 1 gets these two places. 2 is missing. 3 gets this place. We have the 3 above. This 3 here and this 3 here. This is the next place for number 3. Okay. And 4 is missing, 5, 5 gets these two places, okay, 6, 6 gets these two places because that's 6, and this 6, so 3 places, oh, that's 6, that's 6, and this 6, these two places were 6, okay, 7 gets, can anything happen here, just having look, no, no, no 7 there, okay, 8 occurs once, can anything happen here, or 8? On 8 there, on 8 here, many places right, okay. 9 is missing, okay. Now, incidentally, let us uh, 
look at uh, this column number nine it is something we have left out while filling those places have a look we require why all that we have this seven here we have this seven here we have that one and four there therefore this place is clearly for number seven okay now what about these two places one four and nine we don't have we have one here four there okay let us fill them up okay but we can try these three cells let us see what we can do we require two four and nine okay two there no four no nine okay we can fill up these also i think okay four and nine here oh sorry two four nine here and here we have got that four so two and nine here okay and we can fill up this cell also we require one four and nine therefore we have a four there so it is one and nine here okay now this column number seven i find five numbers already was it the four numbers required this clearly two seven eight and nine two here eight there okay we'll bleed there now for timing but let us look at the uh, vertical strip as such uh, one one there one there no can you cannot do anything now two just that this two and that two too many places for two and what about three three here three here two places for three four five six are there seven seven no chance eight eight there no the driver is there okay and nine nine is missing here okay leave it come here to this left vertical strip we have one there two places one here and here many places two two here and two here two places for two yeah okay three done three times four four there four there here no four okay five five gets these two places okay six six also just one size see oh yeah these two places for six oh yeah for some other number i thought we we thought these two places for what what are the what is that number and we recheck okay let it be there we, it cannot escape us okay what about nine nine we have seen i think okay by the way this number one is having just three cells vacant now shall we think of them we require one two and four two here one and four one two four here no cross check one two four here we have one so it is two and four okay and now let us look at uh, oh, let's come to this this middle middle vertical strip have a look we have uh, one just once two we get a two here have a look that's a two that two on this two we get a two here and a three three there three there only one three is occurring there therefore two places for three four four many places here and no cross checks here okay four also you cannot do anything now five five is there look at this five that five you cannot repeat anywhere here but the five has to be somewhere here between these three cells 
you got only one cross check there that means number 5 has to be here or here invisibly which means you cannot repeat a 5 here and therefore the 5 has to be here here or here in this box but you have a 5 here you have a 5 here so we get our 5 next 5 here this is the advantage of invisible numbers please watch this carefully and please uh, when you are solving your problem uh, puzzles you should be observant about these aspects okay now five let's see from the beginning okay one occurs was just one so two over three as yes, three just one three is there four See, that 4 now has to be here, but in that case, 4 cannot get replicated here, 4 has to be here, the next 4 has to be here or here, but we don't have a cross check, okay, it should be there now, Ryan being, 5 is done, 6, 1, 6 here, 1, 6 there, 2 places for 6, okay, 7 occurs once, 8 missing, and 9 also not found, okay, now this 2, enables us to delete this two here so that two goes and immediately this j1 gets corrected to because this one and four pair here now just which has just occurred so naturally this is number two that two enables us to correct here we get a nine here nine and here it is a 4 4 this 4 and this 9 release number 2 here for this place let's do that let's say 2 so these 3 2's are over for this strip ok now this 9 enables us to correct there let's say 9 so the fun this 7 and 8 here 7 and 8 here so this, here these two numbers get deleted and you get a 9 here that's a 9 and then we can delete this 9 also here so in this box we got a pair of 7 and 8 okay and another pair of 1 and 4 now anything else happens here this 4 enables us to correct that first pair. We can get number 1 there. And next door is a number 4. That's interesting. That one enables us to disband this 1 and 9 here. So we get a 9 there. So this column is full now. Okay. Now, still can anything be done? Let's have a look. Let us have a look at this box. Okay. One here. No, this column requires three numbers only. That is a one, two, seven, and eight. Yeah. We have this two. Therefore, we can get write the next two here. That's it. Fine. Now, this place is for what? Seven and eight. The matching pair of that seven and eight. Okay, let us. Ah, shall we wait and see? Let us look at this column also now. We have five numbers there. We require one, three, seven and eight. Uh, three there, eight there. Okay. It should be there now. Okay. Now this row J at the bottom it has got only three vacancies now. Can anything be done? We require four, six, and eight. Six here and four there, four there and six there. We cannot repeat here four or six. Therefore, clearly it is for number eight. Again, our two by three trick. Remember that. And now these two places are for two, 4 and 6. So we have a 4 there. So let's say it was 4. 
and six here well, very good okay now this four immediately asks us to correct this pair here that's number one and here's a four okay now what about these three places in this box number seven can anything be done now one two three four five eight and nine we have this eight here therefore we can confirm number eight here and these two places are for five and nine you have this five there so you can get a five here and nine here okay that's good now what about these two places in this row h we require we have one there two there three there four and seven you have our four there so we can assign four here and seven here but very nice what about these two cells now in row g we have one two three four we don't we require five and nine we have the five above so let us uh, fix number five here and nine here okay <laughs> i'm enjoying yeah no no let us see uh, this column has got just two vacancies that is one and uh, eight yeah so here we have an eight here therefore let us uh, write our eight there and one here this eight starts a chain reaction now we can disband this pair and confirm number seven there eight here seven here and look across eight here and here it is seven so this box is full that box is full this box is having just two vacancies that is for one and nine we have this one here so let us assign one here and nine here yeah so that strip is full completed solved this strip also is completely solved now we have only this strip now let us uh, enjoy now have a look one occurs just once we have only one cross check one here one that gets these two places leave it but two you can get you have these two here you have these two here you have these two here therefore our next two gets in this cell okay now this column is having just one vacancy now for what number one two three four five six seven is missing let us assign seven here yeah that's seven and that's seven and this seven above will enable us right number seven here okay now we see you we have <laughs> now how shall we tackle now <laughs> ah okay this row is having three cells vacant now let us see we require one six and eight eight here eight here we get an eight here we have an eight here so this is the place for eight next okay eight okay now what about these two cells this one we cannot repeat here naturally this place is one okay one and what about uh, this lone cell vacant cell in row d that is one two three four five that is for six and write over six there okay and then can we do something about these two cells now we have one two three four five six and nine we have this six here therefore we can write our nine here and six there okay can we do something about these two cells this column number four we have one two three we require four and eight we have this four we can write our four there and eight here and <laughs> what about these two cells now i have no doubt okay 
we require 3 and 9 we have this 9 here therefore it's a 9 here and 3 here now the biggest problem of this puzzle filling up these two remaining cells <laughs> we require 1 and 3 so we have this 1 here let us write our 1 and 3 there and complete the puzzle so my friends I am sure as I have enjoyed you have also enjoyed see the important thing was this this castle this peculiar castle here and finding is number 9 and all everything got settled gradually and firmly so that's it for today and as I told you earlier after this the next picture will be the paper on which I have solved this puzzle on my own so that will give you an idea how I, I solve these puzzles ok so please have a look if you draw lines properly see I get them printed like this but you did not get them printed but if you can draw the lines neatly with a ruler or something like that your solving process will be very easy and you must have at least uh, an A5 paper I think for each puzzle so that you enjoy ok so that's it for this evening god bless you all